What is the name of the following compound, HNO3? So since we are leading with H, this is going to be an acid, so I have to follow my acid nomenclature rules. Hydrogen is bonded with a polyatomic ion, so that means I'm not gonna use a prefix, and I just need to figure out what suffix to exchange. So NO3 is nitrate. Eights go to ic, so instead of nitrate, it will be nitric. And then all acids need the word acid at the end. So HNO3 is nitric acid. In the, uh, is the previous compound a weak or a strong acid or base? So the previous compound was nitric acid and my strong acids are hydrogen bonded with nitrate, sulfate, all halogens excluding fluorine and all chlorine polyatomics. Nitrate is one of the uh, one of those, and so therefore it will be a strong acid. What is the name of the following compound? HNO2. So since I am leading with an H, I know that this is going to be an acid, and NO2 is a polyatomic ion, so I just need to figure out which suffix I'm going to change. So NO2, if I look on my polyatomic ion list, I can see is nitrite. Ite goes to us, and so this is nitrous acid. Is the previous compound a weak acid, or a weak or strong acid or base? So I am going to see if this is, since this is an acid, I'm gonna see if nitrite is one of my strong acids. My strong acids are hydrogen bonded with nitrate, sulfate, all halogens excluding fluorine, and all chlorine polyatomics. Nitrite is not on that list. That would make that a weak acid. Na uh, what is the name of the following compound? KOH. So KOH, this is going to be a ionic compound. I see K first. K is potassium. It is in the first two columns, so I don't need to calculate an oxidative state. I can just state its name. K is potassium. And then OH, that's a polyatomic ion. And for polyatomics, I just need uh, the polyatomic ion's name. So OH, if I go and look at my list of polyatomic ions, name is hydroxide. So this is potassium hydroxide. Is the previous compound a weak or a strong acid or base? So my previous compound is potassium hydroxide. I do have hydroxide, which would make this a base. So I'm going to ignore all of my acid options. And I just need to figure out if it is strong or weak. My strong bases are going to be all alkali metals bonded to hydroxide or my heavy alkaline earth metals bonded to hydroxide. Potassium is a alkali metal since it is in column one and that is on my list of strong bases. So that is going to be my answer. Potassium hydroxide is a strong base. What is the name for the following compound? H2S. So I am leading with H, which would make me assume that this is an acid, and I am bonded with a solo element from the periodic table. So that means I do need the prefix hydro. And then I am going to turn sulfur, which is what S is, into the uh, polyatomic ion, or not polyatomic ion form, the acid form. And so instead of using the suffix "-ide", I will use the suffix "-ic". So this is going to be sulfuric, hydrosulfuric. And then all acids need acid at the end. Is the previous compound a weak or a strong acid or base? So my previous compound was hydrosulfuric acid. My strong acids are hydrogen bonded with nitrate sulfate, all of my halogens, excluding fluorine, and all of my chlorine polyatomics. 
Sulfur by itself is not on this list and therefore it must be a weak acid. What is the name for the following compound? FeOH2. So Fe is going to be iron. It is a metal and it is not in the first two columns nor is it part of Casnagel. So that means that I'm going to treat this like just a normal transition metal where I need to calculate my uh, oxidative state. So I'm going to do my anion versus my cation math. My anion is the hydroxide. The subscript for it is going to be whatever the multiplier is. The multiplier for hydroxide in this case is two. Hydroxide is going to have a definitional charge that I can find on my list. Hydroxide has a definitional charge of negative one. Two times negative one is negative two. Equal and opposite of negative two is positive two. Iron has a invisible subscript of one. One times what is two? One times two is two. So then parenthesis to parenthesis, Arabic to Roman, I'm gonna write the Roman numeral two, which is just II. And then OH being hydroxide, being a polyatomic ion, I don't need to change its name. And so I can just write hydroxide. So the compound's name would be iron two hydroxide. Is the previous compound a weak or a strong acid or base? So all of my strong bases are going to be all my alkali metals bonded with hydroxide or my heavy alkaline earth metals bonded with hydroxide. Iron is not in the first two columns. I know that from it needing an oxidative state. And so therefore it is going to be a weak base since it is still bonded with hydroxide. What is the name for the following compound? HI. So since I am leading with an H, I can assume that this is going to be a acid. And I am bonded with I, which is just an element off the periodic table. So that means I do need the prefix hydro. And then I need to uh, change iodine's suffix to ic instead. So I'm going to have hydroiodic and then all acids require the name acid at the end. So hydroiodic acid is going to be my name. Is the previous compound a weak or strong acid or base? My previous compound was hydroiodic acid. My strong acids are going to be hydrogen bonded with nitrate, sulfate, all halogens excluding fluorine, and all chlorine polyatomics. Iodine is in fact a halogen, so that would make this a strong acid. Match the characteristics to an acid or a base below. So acids are either going to contain hydroxide or have a leading hydrogen, or bases are going to ha contain hydroxide or have a leading hydrogen, and I just need to match them. So acids are going to have a leading hydrogen. I need to have hydrogen coming first in my formula and bases for this class must contain hydroxide. 